David, I'll, I'll, there is a story there, an exclusive by Lani Scar, which I draw your attention to, and that is 24-7 guards for Treasurer. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg has had to be issued with 24-7 security because of threats received during the coronavirus economic crisis. The West Australian understands Australian Federal Police detail were deployed for Mr Frydenberg at the start of last month. Good story. Yeah, great story, but it's a shame we as a nation reached that point in society where where somebody would, would uh, you know, be, be under threat because of their profession. Yes, I know it's only a very small um, minority of people who would, who would seek to cause threat or harm, um, but I think this is the, the, the latest step, Peter, in what you're seeing, a more aggressive tone coming through following the era of social media. And the era of social media has been all about no accountability uh, and all power. So people are able to get on that keyboard, often hiding behind uh, anonymous names, and they can spew vitriol. And what that does is that creates this undercurrent of hatred of, you know, we, we've got to do something or, 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 you know, how can we take matters into our own hands? And that's dangerous. And when you see a scenario like this where a very decent man, by the way, a very decent man is put under this sort of stress, well, that, uh, that, that just shows where we've reached as a society. Well, David, we've spoken tonight about uh, the debacle that was the Ruby Princess. We've spoken about the Prime Minister and the Reserve Bank Governor coming out saying, let's get the country back on track, let's get that fiscal uh, narrative uh, front and centre of uh, how, how we go about our daily business.